Jing lives with his younger sister in a rented apartment. He loves his sister very much and his life revolves around his sister. Their parents have passed away, and all they have is each other. Jing's sister is suffering from a congenital heart disease for which the doctor has advised surgery, at the earliest. The procedure is expensive and requires at least half a million in expenses. Jing runs a mobile repair business, in a rented shop at the market. Due to good understanding of his work, he also makes different types of mobile repairing catalogs, to help refurbish and repair old phones. On the way to his work, there is an old age home. He goes there often, in case they need him to fix their television. The manager of the old age home, Mr. Liang is a good friend and they both care for each other. To save money for his sister's surgery and with their daily expenses, Jing is always running late in paying rent for both his shop and apartment. One day he goes to see a friend who works in a warehouse. His friend tells him, an import-export guy has left a large consignment of rejected phones in their warehouse, as he was unable to pay the rent of the warehouse for the past two years. They are planning to dump the pile of mobile phones, as it is taking too much space. If he thinks they are of any use to him, he can ask the manager and buy all the phones for 50,000. Jing asks for quality report certificate of the phones and says, he will think if he can manage the deal. He checks the certificate and takes one phone with him to see if he can refurbish it. At his shop he tries to find the fault with the phone. With little diligence he is able to find the faulty component and once he replaces the part, the phone is as good as new and starts to work. This gives him an idea of getting all the rejected phones, refurbishing them, and selling them to a vendor on a higher price. He goes to a loan shark to take loan for 50,000, but if he is unable to pay back in one month, he pledges his shop's accessories to him. Next day he takes the refurbished phone to the market for selling it to Mr. Lee, who trades in refurbished phones and Jing gets a good price for it. Jing estimates a good profit by selling all the phones. He is little relieved, as this deal will help him make a good profit. As few days pass, to his misfortune, the news channels are flooded with the news of banning refurbished phones. The government is doing so to prevent piracy and fraud and thus puts a ban on them. Mr. Lee tells him, he cannot buy his phones anymore, being illegal, he can't sell them to anyone. With the leftover money, he goes to pay rent of the warehouse. The same night thinking what to do with all the phones he comes up with an idea. Next day, he visits the makers of the phone, the Shining Corporation. With lot of request, he gets an opportunity to meet the manager. He tells the manager, about the huge market of refurbished phones overseas, for which they need spare parts. He can provide them all the spare parts of their mobile phones, and that too for a very less price. The manager tells him, first of all the parts need to be passed through a quality control, if the reports are satisfactory then he might look into it or see what he can do. Jing is desperate to do something with the pile of phones he has. He opens a phone and spend few days disassembling it. He makes a catalog, of step-by-step -step procedure for doing the same. Once he is done disassembling, he takes all the parts for quality control check. The reports come in his favor, all the parts pass the quality control exam. With the reports, he goes to see the manager again. The manager does not even see the reports and says, the task is too big for him and he's too young to do this kind of work. Hours pass but Jing waits outside to meet the owner of the corporation, Mr. Zhao. On meeting him he starts telling him about the business of selling the parts overseas. But Mr. Zhao is already rushing to catch a train at 3 p.m. Jing who is desperate to do something, buys a ticket for the same train so he can meet Mr. Zhao and have his attention. He rushes all the way and somehow manages to catch the train. On board the train, he meets Mr. Zhao and asks him if he can give him 10 minutes. He shows Zhao, the quality control report of the parts, and explains him the spare part business has such a big market overseas. And this will open him a new line of business. Looking at his desperation and ambition, Zhao agrees to do business with him. But tells him, he will give him no advance payment, nor any kind of help and all his components should pass the quality control tests. Only then he will buy it from him. He gives him, his manager's visiting card and tells him to see him for the contract. That night he goes to see Mr. Liang, who tells him, what he is doing is very risky. He will be needing to set up a small factory to take out components of so many phones, 
which he cannot do alone. And in any case, if it fails, he will lose everything and his life will be over. Jing tells him the urgency of the money is to operate his sister, and he cannot make that much money by doing small jobs. No matter what he has to take this risk. Next evening, Jing goes to meet the manager to sign the contract. He has to deliver the components in two months, and all the components should pass at least 85% on quality. As the month has passed the loan shark comes and takes everything from his shop. Jing gives up his shop and also sells his bike to raise money for his venture. He goes to get his old job, at window cleaning agency. The manager there says, he has no vacancy but Jing begs and convinces him for the job. He and Mr. Liang go to rent a container to set up the factory. Mr. Liang helps him clean the container and the furniture. Now all they need is to hire few people for the job. They plan to hire people who have difficulty in finding jobs for themselves. And so can come on lower wages and then he can teach them, step by step procedure to disassemble the phones. They hire a girl who lost her hearing while working at her previous job, so it is difficult for her to keep up with her existing job. Once hired, Jing starts to train her. Next, they hire a guy who was in prison and hence nobody wants to hire him. Then they hire few gamers who love to work long hours sitting. Liang even gets few interested people from the old age home, who want to help Jing finish the task and make some money. Jing teaches everyone how to do the task step by step. Himself, Jing joins the window cleaning company as it pays good money, so he can afford paying wages to his factory workers and also the rent of the container. After few days, some goons come to the factory, they want the deaf girl to sign an agreement which states she does not need any compensation from her previous company. When she disagrees with them they start misbehaving with her and pushing her. Seeing them fighting with the girl, first Jing and then the others team up to beat them. This creates a unity among his workers. Reaching home, Jing finds his apartment locked. He calls his landlord, who tells him to pay all the pending dues of previous months. He has no place to go with his sister, but Mr. Liang manages him to stay at the old age home for the night. Next day with help of Liang he gets his stuff and furniture from the apartment. They fix their furniture at the factory. Jing and his sister start to live in the factory. One night his sister hears someone outside. When Jing comes out to see what it is. To his astonishment, they were the same goons with whom they had a fight. They were loading all the phone boxes on a truck and stealing them. Jing runs behind them and gets on the truck. While fighting with one of them they fall down from the truck. With the help of the police, he manages to get his phones back. But in the fight he does break his fingers. Next day while window cleaning, his bucket falls from his hands due to his injured fingers. The manager gets very angry on him, and tells him to show his hands. On finding his condition, he does not allow him to work, he pays him his wages and sends him home. Same day the owner of the container comes and tells him, if he does not pay his rent on time, he has to vacate the container. Desperate Jing goes to meet the manager, as his last hope to get some advance. Manager says he cannot help him, because according to the contract he will get no advance. Meanwhile in the ongoing storm, his phone storing shed, breaks down. With all the bad incidents one by one, and no money Jing breaks down emotionally, with the container gone, broken shed and no money to pay his employees, he does not know how he will finish the contract. With three days to deadline Jing tells his employees that everything is over. But his employees tell him not to lose hope, they will work from home for the next three days but will finish the task. Jing can pay them later when the task is over. They tell him, it was he who accepted them when no one did, and now, it's their turn to help him. They load the phones on the truck and everybody carries their work home. All of them work day and night to finish the remaining task, in the last days. After three days, the corporation truck comes to pick up the components. Jing is told, he will be called once the quality check is done. On the day of his meeting with Mr. Zhao, Jing takes all his employees along with him and introduces them as his partners. Zhao tells him, he has passed the quality test with excellent results, and extends a new contract with him for five years, worth five million. And this time he will also get advance. In the final scene six years later, Jing is shown addressing a conference as the CEO of New View Company. And all his colleagues are shown to have moved up in life. Just like him. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch latest and interesting movies. And please write in comments. Movies you want to see.